But last night's meeting, a lot of calls to the board, not only uh, as for last week's behavior, but also what they say was ongoing racism at Salinas High. Action News 8 reporter Brittany Nielsen continues our team coverage. Last night, local leaders, parents, and most notably students stepped forward with emotional pleas for the Salinas Union High School District to go deep and end racism and white privilege at Salinas High. We wanted to show you some of the powerful moments from last night's more than four hour meeting. I will not feel comfortable going to school with kids who think stomping on a doll is like you're representing what you want to do to me and others. How? So now you're expecting me to walk in the hall and put a smile on my face and act like nothing's wrong? When kids are over here, look, like, it's like, what else do you want to do to me? You're hurt, you're already, you're hurting a doll. I can only imagine what they're thinking in their head when they see me. Just like me, first generation Hispanic that had to put up with that same uh, situation in the past, as well as many people here who have, go back to your childhood and it drags you right back down. Not my kid, man. We treat them better. We, we teach them better. You know, the culture is bad. The yes. teachers should have stopped it. The administrators that were there should have stopped it. The coaches should have stopped it. What is most appalling is that clearly racist behavior such as this is part, is part of a disturbing pattern at Salinas High School. Behavior that has gone unpunished and unaddressed. This is targeted and predetermined behavior that took place on school grounds and should be met with swift and direct action by administration. While I understand that nobody in this room wants to label their child a racist, behavior like what we witnessed taking place on social media is beyond the realm of kids being kids. Yes. The students need to be held accountable, and if that is unacceptable to anyone in this room, then it must be on the adults in the room to take accountability and understand that Salinas High School as it stands is not a safe learning environment for students of color. As an educator, it's not my job to teach your kid to not be a jerk. Because the bottom line of this, because we are talking about humanity, period. We can talk about black and white, we can talk about black, white, yellow, purple, green, all of that, but it's humanity. It's the humane treatment of people. Not people of color, but people, period. You use these dolls, as play, as imaginary play, to teach your children empathy, to teach your children how to socialize. There's a gap in learning for these students, and I can't wait until the restorative justice happens. The African American and Mexican community was attacked on Friday. It was an attack on the Mexican, on the Mexican community, the African American community. It was an attack. I know the school district, like I said, I went to school in this school district. The school is quick to um, expel gang members. Yes. Yes. I need that same energy to that racist yes. out there. We have additional coverage on the racism, including how the incident first came to light, as well as the national attention it's received. That's on our website, KSBW.com. In the studio, Brittany Nielsen, KSBW Action News 8.